Well, good morning, guys. It's December 1st, and we still have some corn to harvest, but most importantly, my brother Buck is coming over today. We got an old barn find he told me about. He called me on the phone last night. We didn't have much, much time to talk, and uh, he's got a barn find that we're going to go check out and possibly buy. He didn't even tell me what it is. He just said it was a su surprise, pretty much. But... Oh, speaking of Buck, there he is. Don't run over... Okay, yeah. Don't run over the dog. We have seasons on in Farming Simulator. So, it's December 1st, and I can't combine any more of my corn. Because it is unrealistic, I guess, to harvest corn December 1st. Even though you can harvest corn in the springtime in real life, December 1st is the cutoff date. So, we're screwed. Our corn is screwed, unfortunately. It sucks. So, we're gonna have to bury our corn. Buck, are you what? on my computer? Are you on my ape? You're using my bathroom? What? What the heck? Uh, if I was... Well, the, you might need to get your drains checked if I'm stinking it up. I'm taking a shower. Oh. Alright, we're good now. So you came over to my house and you took a shower? <clears throat> Pretty much. Nice. Mm-hmm. Drain might be a little plugged in there, though. Yeah, I thought you were on my Apex Game PC up there. Then you can get 4 or 5 percent off using Code Squad. Huh. No, I was on your laptop while I was in there, so sorry about that. It's kind of, it's kind of shorted out now. Um, barn find? Yeah, sounds like a, sounds like it should be a relatively simplistic one. Uh, kind of a mixture of a, kind of a mixture of things on there. More of a silent auction, as we might say it. So only a handful of people were invited, <clears throat> you and me. It's an old client that we used to have out for Holland and Sons. He's kind of got a. It's, well, it's his kid that's having the place doing it. Dad's died, farm's completely destroyed, but they still want to sell the stuff that's in the shed. So it's kind of a mixture of cars, tractors, equipment, stuff. It's a little old barn on the northeast side of town, northwest side of town. Huh. What does he have Pretty in much, What does he have in there? Like I said, it's a mixture of things. It's kind of all over the place. They kind of just, you, once they got done with farming back in somewhere around the 80s when we quit, they just kind of parked everything up in the shed and then just kind of left it. There's a few newer things in there, but they just started using the shed as a storage unit. Huh. Pops has nothing to do with the place anymore. It's basically owned by the kid, but he doesn't want that stuff in there. Let's go check it out. Yeah. I'll pop in. I'm probably going to have to ride separately since the fact that I'll have to go get a trailer unless you got one. Rex. Otherwise, uh, oh yeah, the Rex pooch. Yeah. I'll see him in Rex, a minute. Say, say hi to Uncle Buck. Rex, there's Uncle Buck. <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> you have a wife? No. Why? Long story. You have any kids? No. Why? Even longer story. <laughs> How many consecutive questions do you have to ask? Sixteen. That's a lot. I keep track. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you very proud of that? Yes. Buck, I think that's your new nickname. Uncle Buck. Yay! Uncle John Buck. Candy. Uncle Buck. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. <laughs> okay, I gotta find... Hey. Hey, oh, I don't have my truck here. Son of a... Buck! Hop in. Okay, I'll jump in the back. Well, we got the pickup and we got the gooseneck back there. Hopefully we come home with something on the trailer. We'll see. There's not supposed to be too many people at the auction. Hey, Buck, look! We get to drive by our withered cornfield on December 1st. I told you not to plant so early. This was all your fault. What, do they expect us to plant 60-day corn now? Yes. Is that what we got to do? Yes. And you got to prep for these kind of things. Oh, I think this is our turn here. Gosh dang. Well, you didn't tell me it was this good. Is everything for sale? Like I said, everything in there should be for sale. I might actually buy the sign. Are you kidding me? You go to the sign. You look at the sign first. I said he's an old one, a client one of ours. That's one of the old logos. Not the, from that one. Looks like the one that's back up in Wisconsin. Not the Farmall or the Minneapolis Moline. You look at the sign. Ooh, I like that Impala though. It is that's a whole Nissan sign. Yeah. What year is it? You think? Yeah, it looks like it's from about the 70s. Huh. 70s or 80s. I wouldn't trust the cables that are holding it, but yeah. I mean, I'll take the sign. Shoot, everything seems like it's in good condition here, too. Must have been fixing so what, up the old 706. So old guy and his son, now, the old guy passed away, his son wants to sell everything? You think his son would want to keep some of this stuff? Yeah, but, I mean, time is money. 
True. I mean, he obviously didn't want to take on the farm, so... Yeah. The reality, I mean, besides the fact of this stuff actually meaning sentimental, he really has no use for it unless he wants to keep something. Yeah. Oh, you hear boy. that? You hear that? How you doing, How's it going? How you oh, doing? Oh, not so bad. Just heard there was a sale up here. I was talking to Sherry at the gas station, so I rushed up here. Yeah. Ooh. Well, looks yeah. like we got our bit and cut out for us, bud. You're buying two, or? Yeah, we're one of the we're brothers set, the Murphy Bros. Not sure if you've heard of us before. Mm, I you know I can't say I have, but uh, all right. <laughs> sure. We've kind of been around this area for a couple, like for quite a few years. At least not this oh, part of yeah, Iowa, yeah. but. We've been around uh, down by south of, just south of Boone, in between Boone and Des Moines, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. somewhere around there. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm new to the area, so I don't know everybody too well yet, but uh, it's nice to meet you. What? Well, this is a bit yeah, awkward. A little bit, hey. I feel like we're all competitors side. now, and we're trying to buy something. This is an interesting little machine. I don't want to wonder if it's actually, hang on a minute. This is one oh, of those actually, this is one of those CP. This is one I of those didn't CBTs. These tires got so big. It's like a beat up set of firestones if I've ever seen them though. Look at that dry rot. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. That's not even that's not a, what the heck's a CBT? Jake, what does is a Minneapolis? Jake, where do you farm at? You farm around here? Yeah, yeah, just down the south part of the county. Uh do you know South of Moore? Yeah, yep. Um Down by a new oh, uh Holland and Sons? No. Um What's his name? He's got that big cattle operation. I'm right across the street from mm. him. Uh, Tim Duncan, is it or D Duncan's? Duncan? Yeah, Duncan Dander? Is that their Dander, name? Duncan? Oh, hang on. Are you are you that guy that's down by the horse ranch? Yeah, that's me. Or are you the horse ranch? I am the horse ranch. Oh, oh, oh that I makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I've seen you while we were down at Casey's the other day. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So you're yeah, in the horse business? To... Huh? Uh, you're in the horse hey. business? Yep, yep. A uh, breed and, and train race horses, so that's what I do primarily. And I, I've got a couple fields of farm as well, but that's not my main deal. Hmm. Hey, do you guys know there's a four wheeler over here? Oh, that'd be He's nice to have around the farm. Oh. Well, that'd be convenient. Oh, I kind of didn't know that was over there. All right. Well, I think that's Dwayne. So, if anything, boys, place your bets. I mean, if okay. it's kind of a buyer. Buyer's choice. We're gonna be picking out here. In all seriousness, is anybody interested in the 1206 or the 706? Because that's all I'm here for. I'm gonna be honest, straight up. Well, I gotta I say am. they're pretty nice, but no, not what I'm here for. Okay. What about the Honda? I mean, I'd just take it. I mean, I'd take the four wheeler just for the fun of it. But if someone needs it for more practical uses, please nah, buy it out it. from under me. Nah, you can have it, Buck. If you want it, you, you can want it, Jake. I'll I mean, think on it. I'm gonna think on it. Did you check the points? I heard those things go for a good price at the scrapyard, man. No, oh, no, no, this is too good. <laughs> we acknowledge the fact that that thing cranked without even having to be hooking up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, he got it running. Yeah, she starts right up. What? Do you have a need for an old big block 409? No. I well, still got to pick it. up my 72 out there. He's talking about classics. Fuck, I'd say you buy it, man. We had a good I year this year farming. Besides, half our crop was still stuck in the field withered. Other than that, it was good. I think it should be good. Not bad. I like it. I want more of it. Well, we just got done talking to Dwayne. Um, he stopped by here. I made him an offer on the two internationals. And also, the front row cultivator. He said he thought his grandpa used it on the front of the 706. So we got to figure out if that works. He, he he said they did have a 656 that he thought they might have put it on too, but I got to figure out if that'll attach. So we bought the Cultivator, the 1206, the 706. I'm going to keep these as just collectors and keep them around the farm. We'll keep them in the shop and stuff. This thing cranks right up. It actually cranks better than the 1206. It cranks right up. And runs great. So... We're going to take the Farmwell 706, 1206 home. I'm not sure what these guys are going to do. I think Buck wants that. I know he wants that sign. He really wants that sign. I ended up getting my Impala. Mm. Oh, I got that truck over there. Ooh, flatbed. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be useful for, uh, for, for feeding hay and stuff like that. You know, one thing That's I good. noticed is Dwayne just accepted the first offer. I felt like we could have got this stuff a little cheaper. 
Oh man. Well, again, you got again, you got to remember, he's not really attached to any of this stuff. He kind of he just he kind of was that. He, he didn't want to be the farmer. I can tell that by by a mile. Now he screwed me over on the car. That's for how much certain. you pay for it? Eh, <laughs> eh, paid about thirty-two for it. Yeah. He claimed that because it has the race motor, 409, that's not a stock motor in that thing. That's because it's got the 409 in it that the thing's worth a lot more. I'm like, dude, I, he wanted 40. There's no way I was paying 40 for that thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth 40. It's, it's got a bunch of undercoat when it comes to rust. I mean, mm. I don't think it's through the floorboards, but it's not the prettiest thing underneath it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, as a consolation here, I'm going to leave you a $10 bill right there on your seat, okay? There you go, $10 off. $10. Yeah. Yeah. You're see, a gentleman you're a and a scholar. <laughs> you're a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah, the nice thing you. is at least the four speed on the floor still works. <laughs> yeah, bought you like a gallon of gas. You enjoy it. You better get loaded up. I got to Can I fit both of these on my trailer? Buck, are you going to just drive the Impala back or Yeah, but I'm going to need to ride back to get to the yeah, you can get my truck. Buck, how we looking? Uh, straighter than an arrow. I don't know. It's gonna be tight. Oh, I think it's gonna work. Woo. Yeah, you're calling it close on that one. I got gotcha. you. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be tight pulling up the ramps. You wanna watch out? Yeah. This is totally under DOT regulations. We're good. Remind me not to follow you again. Yeah, I'm in out of here, Buck. We'll see you back at the farm. All right, see you, bud. Well, we got quite the load behind us. We'll get this back to the farm. I'm hoping to start kind of an international collection. I'm hoping. Uh, maybe we'll get some deer in there, 40, 20 or so. We'll see. Oh, God. Is this Jake? Oh, hey. You didn't make it too far. <laughs> oh, I think the fuel gel. Did you just rear in the. Something. You just rear end me? Huh? You just rear end me? No. Huh. That wasn't a very convincing no. You gelled up? Yeah, I think it gelled up on me. We could. If I drop these off, I could come back and get your truck or something, too. Or I yeah. should have some anti gel. I don't know if that's going to help. I got some anti gel I can put in my truck. Well, I, can, well, I say I can run back up to the dealer and just go grab our short transport truck and we can just tow it back to the dealer and basically clear out the system. That'd probably be yeah, best. I know. So, I, I, say, I know we got one of those two post lifts that we can probably put it up on. If you could put it in yeah, a heated shop, that'd be better, perfect. Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea. This thing needs a tune up anyway. Yeah, probably better do it anyways. I mean, it's not going to move the way it is right now, so. Well, we made it back. We got some grain down load yet, and then I'm gonna, like I said, I'd like to start a little collection here. It'd be nice. We'll get these unloaded. I want to go through them, change oil. The fuel is a little bad on them, actually. So if we get the fuel drained, clear the fuel out of them, I'll get them in the shop, get them warm. Because it's, I can't believe they started, too. It's 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 pretty chilly out. We'll open, uh, open one of the shop doors quick and get them in here. We do need 1206 is a little dirty. I'll clean that off, too, if we get a warmer day. 706, it could be sprayed off too. 706. Oh yeah. There we go. So I'll work on these and then eventually I th I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll make this shed the collectible. This will be the collectible area. And I'm hoping with these we can hold them forever, but also these are going to increase in value over time, I think. I think there's gonna be a lot of people that will want to buy these in the future. Nice little cold storage, cement cold storage, which don't have any mice issues. We'll be able to put them in here, and then most of our other equipment we'll put in our big cold storage shed, and then the big cold storage shed we have behind this little cold storage shed, the white one. So we'll be set. We'll be good. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this one. I'm hoping to get started on tillage or finish tillage, I should say. And then heck, it's just gonna be a born winter. We're gonna get a lot of snow probably. And that's gonna be springtime. We gotta start planting again. But hey, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.